Companies struggle with their brand strategy for a variety of reasons. Um, most of them are commonplace. Complexity. Uh, our world is extraordinarily complex these days. Uncertainty and unpredictability. The levels of what I call turbulence, which is you know unpredictable conditions beyond our control, is higher than ever before. And it shakes people. So they don't really know where to start. Um, the rules of the game are changed. You know, you've got competitive incursion. There's an acquisition over here. Consumer dynamics change. All of a sudden, supply chains are disrupted. Consumer tastes are influenced by a, a, a new competitor coming in or whatever. The other, another reason is just knowing where to start. There is so much information out there and so much jargon and unnecessary complexity in the world of brands and marketing and brand strategy and corporate strategy and developing strategy and <laughs> strategy of strategy. Where do you start and how do you simplify it and boil it down into a process that you can follow and bring your people in, in and, and on board. Above all, uh, another key reason why companies struggle to develop strategy is, is that they are buried in their business and don't have the luxury of time to think on their business or about their business. Buried in what I call C-rated tasks, the day-to-day -day jobs that must get done and never have time for the A-rated tasks, which is rising above it or seeing the bigger picture and taking the bigger strategic decisions that only the leaders can do. And I hear that an awful lot. Other reasons where we get complications, people do what I call box ticking exercises. They uh, you know, find strategic frameworks, they're to a penny, they cost nothing, you can do anything, and they go through an exercise which is kind of completed but is soulless. It's not, it, and nobody's actually really gone into it in depth or captured it or done, done really thoughtful work within a leadership team to interrogate where they're at. The whole world that, that we're in at the moment doesn't think enough about the strategy of strategy, what we're doing. And we, we, we become used to having a formulaic time spans of, you know, every three to five years, we'll do a strategic review, or maybe it's a seven to 10 year review plan. But now in this constantly, rapidly changing, uh, uncertain environment, you know, even a five year plan it is blown out of the water in five months. And the world has changed faster than that. And yet you need to have a long-term vision. 10 years is probably not enough. What about 20 or 30 years? What's the legacy you're trying to create? You need to have both that long-term vision, but also the short-term agility to be able to maneuver quickly within it. And so you need adaptable strategy. And again, that confuses people. So another reason why companies struggle with uh, strategic planning is, is ownership. It's all kind of vested or rested on one individual, or sometimes it's not. It falls between stools. And so, you know, this is a process where you do need um, an individual leader to take uh, ultimate accountability and responsibility for it, but you need the wisdom of a crowd, of a leadership team around it. And, and this process is, is geared around that, working with um, uh, a leader, whether or not it's the CEO or the owner or the co-founder and a leadership team. And that still applies for um, solopreneurs and entrepreneurs. They nearly always have support systems and people that they work with strategic partners that they trust that they can involve in a process like this if they desire.